man, oh man, I really wanted to like this game. And for the most part, I did. I really did. Despite of what people have said about it. Um, I find this game actually enjoyable and quirky. It's one of those games that is so bad that it's good. But it kind of left me really frustrated. And we'll get to that. So this game's called Wanted Dead. It's made by some of the guys that created Ninja Gaiden. Um, I don't know if you guys played the Ninja Gaiden games. You can skip the third one because that's a piece of shit. Um, but they created this game. I don't think it's the same like studio, though. It's, I think it's called Ninja Theory. I think. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. Uh, but this game came out last year to little fanfare. Lots of negative reviews. Uh, but for some odd reason, some of the game, the people that play it seem to really like it. And I'll tell you why. I actually see it. Inside of this game, there's actually something special here. Uh, the combat's fun. The gunplay's fun. Uh, it's, it is a mess. Uh, I'll tell you that. It is a mess. Uh, and it's actually pretty hard for the most part. It's so hard, but they actually have a cheat code where you can input it and you can ha open up a uh, special mode. I think it's called uh, Neko, Neko Cat uh, something. something. It's, it's, a, it's a code. And I had to use it because this game kicked my ass. Like, it really did. Like, I, I got, like, uh, a couple, like, to the first big boss... And I couldn't get past it. Like, I just couldn't get there. And um, I ended up just putting in the code and just playing it on easy. I know what you're thinking, you casual piece of shit. Why are you, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that to the video games? Um, it made it more enjoyable for me. Uh, again, this game is one of those games that's so bad it's good. Uh, the story is all over the place. There's a lot of weirdness, like mini games, like you can play 8-bit games, uh, like uh, something like Raid and Trad, or uh, there's um, uh, crane machines, there's a ramen eating uh, <laughs> quick time game, then you have karaoke. Such a weird game. It kind of reminds me of like Yakuza, but in the wrong ways. But it's so quirky, you just can't help but enjoy it. Um, like I said, the gameplay is fluid, like, for the most part. It is janky, but it works. It has no reason to work, and it has no reason to be as good as it actually is. Um, it's not a game of the year contender, and it's definitely going to go down as a uh, game that has a nice cult following. Uh, that's the only thing I can really say for it. Um, I almost finished the game. You're probably like, why are you doing a review if you didn't finish the game? I made it to the very last level. Very last level. And I'm sure there's more people who's ran into this problem. Uh, in the last level, you're on the streets of Kowloon. And you're trying to get through, um, basically through to the next mission. But there's a, a bunch of food uh, stands, like, in your way when you're going through your waves of enemies. And supposedly, after you finish one of the waves and kill all the people, uh, that thing blows up. Well, I've never done that. Not at all. It just stayed there. Uh, and I had to reset the game like three or four times and go through that section three or four times. And it never went back. And I watched people playing it and it happened for them, but it didn't happen for me. And it ultimately broke the game for me. And I wasn't about to start the game over again. Um, you know, I like whenever I, something like that happens and this happened to me before. It was like uh, Batman Arkham Origins. I get like midway through the game and I was enjoying it. and. Uh, I get a game-breaking bug that destroys my save. I just don't play it again because uh, it pisses me off. And this happens to be what happened here. Uh, I couldn't finish the game because it was a game-breaking bug near the end of the game. And there was no fixing it. So I uninstalled it. And maybe one day I can go back to it and finish it. But I don't think it's probably worth finishing. Um, is this game worth buying? No, it's not. It's not worth buying. It's not worth your money. Um, maybe a Game Pass title? Maybe. Uh, I would say play it on Game Pass. Uh, right now, it was on sale for like 20 bucks. Uh, I think, during the winter sale. And, you know, I, I picked it up because I saw a lot of people that actually really enjoyed it. And, like I said, I was playing the game, and I actually enjoyed this game. It was quirky. It was stupid. The voice acting was some of the worst voice acting I've heard in a video game in years. Um, the story did not make sense. The characters were especially weird but it was all quirky it was like it all just kind of made sense like it near the end of it um it's just too bad i couldn't finish the game because of the game breaking bug um and it's one of those things i want to regret so i want to probably try to maybe years from now go back and play through it but 
Uh, it does at least give you the option to skip the cutscenes. Um, but if you're wanting something, this the take, not even think like if, if you're just high or something, uh, maybe pick this one up. Like it's it's fun. It's just um, I hope I hope if you do play it, you don't get the game breaking bug. But I hope you do if play it. Maybe you'll see what I see in it. I. I think this will be one of those cult classic games, kind of similar to something like Deadly Premonition. Um, it's just fun to play, and it's like a weird anime that could. And the weird thing about this game, like some of the cutscenes will come out, and they're like all mixed. Like, you know, for some reason, there'll be like an anime style cutscene, just fully drawn anime uh, for the main character. And there's like shower scenes and all this stuff. Um, it's definitely a Japanese game. It's definitely Japanese. Like it has, it's like definitely Japanese. Uh, it's very reminiscent to me of Yakuza, what I've seen of Yakuza. But um, I don't know if if it is Japanese. I'm pretty sure it is, uh, or it could be Korean. I don't know. Um, I let me know in the comments. I could be wrong. Um, I didn't put a lot of uh, inf like study into this game aside from playing it, and I wanted to talk about how I felt about the game. Um, but like I said, it's, it's not worth your money, but it may be good game pass material, um, or something, you know, if you see it on sale for like two or three bucks, then pick it up. Um, I think in the future, if this game ever gets a follow-up, which I kind of doubt it, um, maybe it will fix some of these game breaking bugs and make it a little bit more palatable. But I don't know. I don't, I think I would miss it if it wasn't as wild as it is it's it's just entertaining to play this game and experience it's almost like want playing the original resident evil game like it's a good game there's a good game in that game but like a lot of it's really jank and the voice acting is just top tier trash and that's what this game is like it's it's fun um take it as it is if you want to buy it don't pay more than 20 bucks for it but you know it's going to be a cult classic game that's why I feel. I'll talk to you guys later.